This is from the Department of Revenue in Seattle, returning your phone call from last week. Oh, yes, thank you. Let me just uh, make a notation. Was mm -hmm. Are you aware of the situation with uh, that's going on with Mr. and the uh, summons? Yes, I'm aware of it. I, so you believe it's uh, it's justified to proceed against Mr. absent any evidence of jurisdiction? LLC is, is registered to conduct business in the state of Washington. It appears that he is conducting business in the state of Washington. Is that correct? No, that's not correct. Okay, so no business for... Is that right? No, it's the assertion that he's within the state of Washington and subject to the jurisdiction of the state of Washington. Okay, so he's not in Washington state? Well, no, Was no there's no evidence to prove that. What, ha what happens is everyone seems to conflate the, the uh, physical location in Washington with being in the state of Washington. And that some, and just because of his physical location, that the laws of the state somehow apply to him. Okay, but he's physically located in Washington State. I'm sorry. And so, if somebody is physically located in Washington State. You're telling me and operating a business. No, what I'm saying he may be physically in Washington, but we don't believe that there's any evidence show he's physically that he's within the state and subject to the jurisdiction of the state. So when you let me ask you, when you use the phrase "state of Washington," what are you referring to? Okay, we have evidence that there's somebody who's operating in the city of Seattle, Washington. Is that, are you, are you, is this not the case or what? Well, you again, you, now, now you, you get, you know, the, the city of Seattle is uh, understood to be a municipal corporation, not a physical location. And that's what, what is used by politicians to, um, you know, they conflate the geographic area with the state. Commonly what's done is very similar to what, um, if someone in a church, a bishop for the Catholic Church, was to draw lines on the map and say, this is the Catholic, this is the Seattle parish, and everyone within these, physical, these lines on the map are a member of the church who must pay me a tithe. That's really what's going on here. Using his physical location to say, ha, you're physically in Seattle, that means you're within a city of Seattle. And that our rules and, and laws apply to you. I just don't see any evidence besides your say-so that that's true. What I get, what it gets down to is what evidence do you have that the laws of the state of Washington actually apply to just because he may be physically in Seattle? Look, he's, if, you, if anybody who conducts business within our, the, the state of Washington is required to get registered but to, to, uh, to, and collect retail sales tax on that sales. Okay, that doesn't answer the question. What what evidence do you use to prove that the Constitution and laws of the state of Washington apply to just because he's physically in Washington? Okay. Okay, what we need to do is he either needs to comply or we just need to go agree to disagree. Agree to disagree. Do you, ha do you, have, evidence? Do you have evidence or not? It's, it's not a matter of agreeing or disagreeing. It's just a matter of being open and honest and answering what the evidence is to prove the law applies just because he's physically in Washington. Can you verify your position or not? This idea of comply or we'll, we'll use tools to get your compliance just sounds like thuggery to me. Sounds like a bullying tactic. You do what I say right now or we're going to use more aggressive force against you. Okay, do we're I trying to work this down. We're just going to have to issue an assessment. That's, that's it, pure and simple. Do you have evidence to prove that the laws apply just because he's physically in Washington? Okay, I'm not going to just... With you any further. Okay. Well, uh, let me write that down. Okay, you're not going to discuss the evidence. 